We're here in Chile and Dicka Springs, Colorado, where the air is thin and the smoke is thick. It's Pop Brownie Day here at Sold Out No Authority Field. And the crowd is fired up for some football after an intense pregame screening of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Mile High Chronic. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Second down and more than the QB would like. Pick up seven yards on that play. Third down and five. It's about a three yard pickup. Well, tell our viewers what you would... Oh, and he, oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and ten. Ah, another interception. Jeez, you give this and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. And with another pick, the QB. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
sure now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Seems to think the defense had too much time on their hands, so they took some of it back with a time warp dirty trick. That last play was completely erased from time. Uh, you know, I, I use that kind of power to like unnuke the world. But uh, sure, getting rid of a play works too. First and ten. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. You can catch it. I will go to First and ten. the rush, winds up and throws it. It's a touchdown! Back in 2017, they started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. And it was just trying to make America great again, Glenn. Now that's fake news. It's been proven. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And he just... Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him 10 yards right there. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. One, two, three. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this happen. Second down and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore.
Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. First down and seven. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Skid marks. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And this game is up for grabs. And it's first and ten. I'm running out of excuse. Oh, with the punishing hit. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what happened?
And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Second down in a lot. First down and seven. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistake a man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Second down and more than the QB would like. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They need a good. 
should return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is lukewarm. Any proud of that? Yeah. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? The you know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And that's another turnover for the defense. Baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that coming too fast. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. See it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Joy Division and Weep tonight. Mm, if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. is better than nothing but not by much oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the nfl second down and nine and the great rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable uh, he just put that guy out of his misery and says who's next you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Ooh. 
And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in. Oh, what a great defensive play. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Second down, it ain't gonna happen, partner. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, that's the funeral expenses, that is. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably having it. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boot Rooters Chicken Wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police force is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slam. But the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbits. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. 
down there and nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. And that, ladies and mutants, is how you recover an onside kick. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. He'll be going on site here and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the toast! Why do we even come back or bother? This is a waste of my time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? See that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. He picks up eight yards on that pass. And that'll bring up third and one. Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. Oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburn. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. First and eight to go. And he left. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll be second and eight to go. They used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> the quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. You know, with orcs, we'll never be the strongest. With robots, we'll never be the smartest.
smartest. With aliens, we'll never be the fastest, <laughs> but I will be damned if we don't have the best moves. I will kill no cinema. Well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. Oh, Mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Oh my god! The defensive player looks like he's lost his. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Third down and ten. And now with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. Freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death. With no players left on their roster and an empty bag of weed, the Mile High Chronic loses by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up...